Hi, my name is Steve Walsh. I'm director and head coach at AFDA. It's a BTEC level three programming sport, which these lads will be with us for two years. We obviously have a teacher who, who does the education side. Me and Muzzy try and develop young footballers to the best ability that we can. Uh, over the two years that we're, we're with them, we've got a development plan put in place and myself and Muzzy do the coaching. So yeah, it's, uh, it's quite a unique opportunity for uh, 16 to 18 year olds. When they, when they come along here, we sort of try and create an atmosphere for them where they feel comfortable. Uh, we get players here that uh, really take their football serious. So we like to develop the football side of, side of the academy. And there's obviously the, the educational side, which is the most important side of AFDA. Uh, students come here from all over the county and uh, want to make them feel welcome. Yeah, it's fantastic. We're in our sixth year now, and um, we certainly have um, a kind of family uh, atmosphere down here. And it's uh, it's not it's quite different than a normal college, um, the way the programs run. So uh, it's um, it's great. We've got some wonderful kids over the last six years. Obviously, um, we're trying to get that you know they, they've got this belief that they're going to be a footballer, and they've got dreams that they could be a footballer. And, and, uh, and obviously that's their aspirations and it's ours to try and develop them and make them a, a football player. But at, at the same time, we've got to think about um, their education if things don't happen that way and that pathway doesn't, doesn't work. We like to offer, offer our students as, as much chances and opportunities to gain workplace experiences as we can. And the students will um, get out of it as much as they want. Um, we're, we're always looking to help students if they want to gain experience. Um, we have a lot of students that, that want to go into sports coaching. Them students want to go into sports coaching. We'll get opportunities to go and coach in schools and do some community coaching with, with myself and our other coaches, um, as well as any other opportunities. We have one student who, who works alongside me at the weekends doing match analysis and he wants to go into, into that industry in sport. So, Lots of opportunities and windows can open up for students that, that want to go into a specific industry. So, playing at a competitive and a, a high standard enables them to, to develop as much as they can. Um, we want our, we have three teams here at AFDA, that, so they're all at different different levels of technical and physical abilities. Um, and being able to play at competitive levels for each of them enables them to, to each develop the same amount. Um, our, our first team players will develop as just as, ma as much as our third team players, allowing them over that two years, like I said, to develop as much as they can over them two years. So on the BTEC um, platform, we teach a variation of all sports related um, content. So it ranges from sports coaching, sports nutrition, sports psychology. Altogether, there's 19 units um, that students have to go through over the course of two years. Um, and then on the HNC, it's quite similar, but it's just a step up from what they've done in the BTEC um, pathway. It's not like a typical college. Um, we believe in a family ethos over here. So when we take on our students, it's not about sort of them um, sort of adapting to what your typical college would have, where it's just lesson after lesson and then um, it's kind of what's where, but we see them as you know, young men, young women that come into this institution and it's about making them into better individuals, better people, um, rather than just maybe seeing them as athletes. Um, we prefer sort of to see them as, as people. Um, so we're, we're looking sort of holistically at, at the person to develop the person as a whole um, alongside with their education. Um, so that's sort of the driving force behind it. It helped me progress in my career by giving me the experience that I need. So I now uh, do a lot of coaching for other clubs. I get paid to do so. I wouldn't have been able to do that if I didn't come here because um, I've been given the opportunities to um, uh, take that forward and uh, really gain the experience to do a lot more. I like to tell them my experiences of when I was here, when I was their age, and uh, how I used to do things here and what I've been able to achieve because of coming here. And I think. It gives them something to aim for sometimes. Um, some boys come here, they don't 100% know what they want to do, but they sort of come because of the football. And I think it's good that there's people here with Muzzy Steve, some of the coaches that can give them ideas on where to go uh, when they move on after two years.
it's uh, one big family, so it's everyone's supporting you and you've not left out of anything. Uh, well, being taught by Muzzy and Wall, ex-professional football players, they've taught me a lot about football. And even in the classroom with Ngoni and Allen, they've taught me a lot in work. The people around us are all so tight. It's good as, as a team. It's, yeah, tutors are good. Just get everything out of what I need, really. Where you can get into coaching, sports therapy, uh, anything in the sporting area, really. PE teacher, stuff like that. Hard work will get you, get you to where you need to get to, regardless of the skill. I think skill is a is an extra. Um, so basically, hard work, getting here on time, being punctual, being respectful, being dedicated. I think these are the things that I try to pass down to the students. It's not about just being the best player. It's being the hardest working. We've had some fantastic kids come through the years with um, trials at Leicester City, uh, at other clubs. We get scouts coming down to watch players now. We're having a fantastic year this year. With uh, uh, We are in the quarterfinals of the National Cup. The first team were unbeaten this year. So uh, we're, having a, we're having a great year this year.